Alrighty, as promised, I have another really quick construction update for you guys on Yukon Striker. Um, so as you can tell from the footage, um, Yukon Striker is progressing really quickly. Um, so between one day, they have the airtime hill done and the turn into the helix has started. So that slight angle where it curves into the helix. I've circled it on the blueprints up there for you. There are 10 more pieces to go until it's connected to the brake run. Um, and then they'll start, I guess, the vertical loop area. Now, the thing is, they might actually be working in two areas at the same time because the big yellow crane is still there and not being disassembled, um, which makes me believe that it's going to continue to work while the other smaller blue crane, it's hard to see in this footage, um, is working on the remainder of the ride. And I think that's why the, they're progressing so quickly is because they have the two cranes. Now, I wanna provide you guys with a really quick update on Mindbuster. I'm not gonna touch on something that we saw in this footage um, and I've in the footage because I don't wanna touch on it um, until I figure something out. There is something going on over at the uh, on the he uh, turnaround section of Mindbuster and it's, it's very interesting. There's a weird machine on it um, and it, it's not a clearance envelope. It's not, um, they don't use like uh, sensors on wooden coasters either to check for its integrity. Um, so I want to figure out what that machine is before I make a video on it. But I also want to just update you guys quickly because I don't want to leave you too much of a cliffhanger. There is some excavation equipment alongside Mindbuster. Does that mean it's being removed? Absolutely not. Um, we're not going to jump to um, any significant conclusions yet. But I do want to let you guys know that there are holes being dug around Mindbuster. Um, there's orange markings too. If you look right down there near um, uh, the stunt coaster, you can see some orange markings where they're digging holes. They've bulldozed and land cleared some land next to the brake run and station and lift hill. There's a big hole dug to the right side of the drop on Mindbuster. Um, and we have a bulldozer and an excavation digger right there, an excavator um, next to the first airtime hill. It does not belong to Yukon Strikers construction equipment. It looks like it belongs to a different construction company um, because it's different equipment. Again, they usually rent from the same company. But just to let you guys know, the vertical loop, um, it has started its ascent. It's got a bit of an angle taking yesterday's update, so that has not changed. The airtime hill is finished on Yukon Striker and it's slightly angled into the final helix. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick update on Yukon. The video like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.